guys welcome back oh i didn't shave so y'all are gonna need to behave today welcome back my loves today we are going to do our makeup again but this time we are going to use a bunch of kosas products i'm gonna try to do a full face i don't know if i have everything for a full face but we're gonna do our best here okay this is not at all sponsored by kosas but their team is so sweet and they just sent me these two new products they also sent me that little plushie wait i need to show y'all <laughs> This is the best fucking gift ever. Like, how smart. I'm going to cherish her forever. Thank you. Love you, close house. Anyways, they just sent me these yesterday. I really want to try this out today. I sprayed this on my face yesterday. They're actually supposed to do it before moisturizer, I'm pretty sure. But I already prepped my skin. Maybe I'll just spray it again. Fuck it. Plump and Juicy Vegan Collagen Spray on Serum. Ooh la la. You're supposed to do it before, but whatever. I feel so nice. Such a good spray. Like some spray bottles just they do too much. Also, I just cleaned my makeup brushes. I'm so happy. I have a little friend here. She's going away. But I think she came by because I didn't clean my makeup brushes. So they're clean and they're ready. We're ready to go. Again, they didn't ask me to film this or anything, but some of them I've tried, some of them I haven't. And I've been on a kick of playing with new makeup and experimenting, doing the whole doing the whole thing. This is um the PR box they sent me last time. We have a lot of things to get to. I don't want to show you guys because it's really messy. <laughs> of course, we're going to try the Dream Beam Sunlit. They've sent me their original one. I'm hearing that this is so much better. I honestly have not tried this one yet, but we're just gonna go in. I'm filming on my iPhone.com again. I don't know. I kind of like it. I don't know what you think. I know some of you guys like it, but I don't know. We're gonna be careful around the walls. It. it is going away though. It like doesn't hurt as much, you know? I don't know how much I'm supposed to put in my face also. Sorry, I'm doing laundry. It's looking a little bit gray, but I'm hoping it's just gonna blend out. Oh, period. That actually blended out real, real nice. Yeah, I think this is just supposed to be your daily SPF, you know? But I guess it's just more glowy than the regular one. I don't know, but I like it. It feels good. Okay, I really like that. Obviously, we're gonna have to see how it wears, but good, good, good. Wait, what's this? I don't know if they had a foundation. Um, okay. I think we should try this because I would like to do a skin tint. So I have these three BB Burst Tinted Gel Creams and I've already tried them. Yeah, people don't do skin tints and foundation, right? Maybe they do. Fine, we'll do it. We're gonna do medium warm, medium tan warm. This one is medium neutral, I do not. This looks light. So I'm actually going to do medium tan warm with the foundation. How does this even look? Oh, oh, it's literally just like a stick. Very cool. Okay, this is in the shade medium neutral. I don't think they sent me another shade. So we're going to mix the foundation with the BB Burst. I've already tried this and I love it. Also, I do my makeup differently every single time, like the placement and the application, so I really... I don't know. This looks extremely light. <laughs> I feel like I should come closer and... Hold on, we're going to readjust. Maybe that's a little bit better, but... Yes. This blends in so nicely. Might be a little bit light, but the formula, magnifico. What accent even is that? I don't have any close-up blush or contour. I don't even know if they make that. We're gonna stick to the skincare-esque makeup vibe. I'm gonna use my Clinique contour stick. This was my everyday contour stick for so, so long. Like the only contour stick that I use, but. I can tell I'm about to start using this every day. I just love this. It just feels so nice on the skin too. But I have a feeling if it's not already discontinued, for some reason, I have a feeling they're gonna discontinue it. I don't know why. I think it's just because sometimes when I would go and look for this product, a lot of people wouldn't be carrying it. And then I would think that it got discontinued. Then I'd find it somewhere else. But also I'm not doing anything about my pimple. Like I said in my last video, I just don't really care to cover anything up right now. 
Oh my god, I'm falling in love with this contour again. It just blends so easily, so it's very buildable. It's just not as harsh. They're going back in the regular rotation, girl. Now for blush. I think I'm gonna go with my everyday persona. Love my persona. In the shade Teddy. I think I'm gonna go for like a just a soft nude pinky look rather than like a red, you know? God. The glow is shining underneath. I didn't even put anything. Oh, the fucking this and the spray. Oh my god. Mm. Okay. This has actually become my everyday concealer that I gravitate towards. So good. I get it. I get the hype. When I first tried it, I was like, okay, it's a concealer. And then suddenly I was gravitating towards it all the time. And I was like, okay, yeah. I get it, I get it. Kosa sponge. Guys, this is the same sponge in my last video. Look how clean it is. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? I'm really odd and I don't want it, but you know what? The thing is, I used to always like wash my beauty blenders before every use. But I stopped using beauty blenders all around and only use brushes and then I got this and then I just used it once Like without wetting it like usually i'll take it to I don't even do what I just did I take it to the sink and I fully wash it with soap and everything But I used it once dry and then I just kind of low-key kept doing that And then it got really really dirty, but but I promise i'll wash it next time. All right I just forgot how much I loved a beauty blender until this very moment. It's because I wet it. And I'm like, ooh, look at it blending everything together. I do feel like the foundation is just really light. So I'm gonna just bronze my face more. That's how I'm gonna combat this. Do I look crazy? In real life. Oh, I feel like in real life it kinda looks better. Or do I? I'm just saying that because you guys will never know. And I don't have to tell you. some on my eyelid too oh my god so i like so haven't used my clinique chubby stick in like a year probably so a rediscovery is happening right now now we are going to go in with the one and only cloud set powder best powder on the market might i say i usually don't care about my powders but this one is just really good it doesn't feel like it cakes your face but it still does what a powder needs to do you know and this is in the shade comfy gonna go in with the air brow i actually used this for the first time a few days ago when i was filming a tiktok and i was like wait whoa i really really like this like i said in my last video i haven't been putting anything on my brows because I've been liking them to be bare, but I think a shift is happening. <laughs> this is in the shade brown black. Oh my god. This is so like that is so fucking good. This might be better than the persona. I don't know. I don't know. The persona, the persona one is really good, but I ran out of that. It's like completely empty. So I'm honestly starting to forget. But that was my favorite brown mascara for a long time. But this, I don't know, y'all. I think she's claiming her crown. Yo, what the fuck? This is only my second time using it since I filmed my TikTok, so. Bitch. It literally like thickens your brow hairs. It just grabs onto it exactly as it should and thickens them up. That's crazy. So we're doing a little fluffy brow moment today. I'm actually thinking about growing on my brows again. I I'm just ever changing, you know? I am an evolving human being. <laughs> Let me be. They gave me the same one in clear. I haven't used the clear one yet, but I probably will tomorrow, honestly. I also got a brow pop. Brow pop. Amazing packaging. Guys, I'm gonna get my nails done tomorrow. Don't fucking trip. All right. I haven't used the brow pencil in a minute. She's just a sleepy girl. Mm -hmm. Oh. What do we do? I wanna just use it to use it. I guess we're just gonna draw a little. I don't like the filled in look so much you know what i mean i either want it to be like completely bare and thin you know like i've been wearing it lately or i just want it to be like a fluffy little mess i don't really know what i'm trying to say okay that's all i'm doing sorry y'all you're gonna have to figure it out for yourself if this is a good product or not for you should i use it a little bit fine oh man we could draw a little hairs right there to just even that out cute spectacular and this is in the shade 
from black they did not give mascara or highlight so i'm gonna do my usual nyx jumbo stick and frosting <laughs> Falsies Lash Lift. Did the mascara. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna do the lippies. We're using my NYX Lip Liner, and this is in Espresso. This is my second favorite next to the Cold Brew Liner. It's just a very pretty brown, you know? All right, now this. I also tried this for the first time the other day. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Wait, this is not what I used. <laughs> this is cute. This is like their lipstick. I definitely used something else. I was going for a different shade of pink. Let me blend this real quick. I think this, is this a matte or like a velvet? One moment though, because I definitely wore... Oh, I found it. Here she is. Okay, so I don't know what is what. That's, this is a lipstick. Sorry, sorry though. This one's giving like a lip balm-esque situation. Kind of like the Clinique glossy balm. I don't know what they call it, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. The black cherry, love that one. Or the hourglass lipstick glossy balm situation. So this is kind of like that. And this is in the shade 100 degrees. Um, I don't know if it's gonna apply the same as I have that one on, but fuck it. Let me just swatch it actually for you guys. So pretty. And I'll swatch the lipstick as well. You see? Both gorge. This one is a little bit more nude, which is what I was going for though. More shiny, more moisturizing, you know. You can tell between my bop. My bop? My bottom and top lip. The shade is Gorgiana. A very brown girl friendly pink nude lip. As a brown girl, it has been quite a fucking journey trying to find trying to find good lip shades, but we're getting there, y'all. I'm gonna just line a little bit. Kosas lip oil in unzipped. I do wish they had a thick applicator. I love a thick Dolpha applicator, you know? There it is, ladies. I am obsessed. I just feel like such a cute, pretty girl. Thank you to Kosas for sending me all this wonderful, wonderful makeup. I'm really into the brows. Everything top to bottom, fly, fresh. Cool. And thank you to anybody watching because no one would send me anything if people didn't care enough. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Seriously, thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you would want to see and I will see you next time.